Anyway, welcome everybody to the Land of Oz. This is week three, and I hope not to strike out. I want to cover a little economy versus lifestyle this week. We're going to talk about all the jobs that are, people are losing because of closures of big retail outlets. Retailers are brace, bracing for a fresh wave of store closures in 2018 that's expected to eclipse the rash closures of stores that rocked the industry last year. I mean, I could drive down the street and I'd watch a store saying closed go up on the wall. That's scary. And I'm not kidding. Um, 2017 was a record year for both store closures, uh, retail store closures and bankruptcies. That's a scary thought. Uh, you've got pay less. Landlords are panicking. The last year was pretty apocalyptic from a retail standpoint. And we've got to remember, it's just not a store. It's a store full of employees. It's a store full of customers rebuilding the infrastructure. The employee gets paid. The employee goes and buys gas and buys donuts, buys groceries, whatever. Um, we've got uh, dozens of retailers, including Macy's, Sears, J.C. Penney's. Um, they've closed an approximate 9,000 stores uh, last year, and they're going to uh, probably close uh, maybe several thousand more this year. Uh, 50 chains filed for bankruptcy over the course of the year. That's more employees, more people fi filing for bankruptcy, putting the strain on our system. Now, bankruptcy is just the tip of the iceberg. The number of store closures in the U.S. is expected to jump at least 33% to more than 12,000 stores in 2018. And another 25 major retailers could file for bankruptcy. When does it end? I mean, pretty soon, nobody's going to have a job, so they can't buy their stuff from... Amazon. What is Amazon thinking? Amazon is going to kill more jobs, more American jobs than China did. Remember back in the early 2000s, they were talking about, oh, all these jobs are going over to China. Well, Amazon's going to eclipse that. A little fun fact here. I read this week that for every job in Washington state that Amazon creates, three jobs are lost. Do the math. It doesn't work that way, folks. It just doesn't work. It is unsustainable, just like our reliance on fossil fuels, just like the climate, everything, unsustainable. I hate to be all gloom and doom, but, you know, what the heck? I do have a, a chart here of stores closing uh, in 2018. Walgreens is closing uh, several hundred stores. Uh, Payless, Rue 21, The Gap. Toys R Us. I'm going to miss Toys R Us. Damn it. I like that store. Uh, you know, we've got uh, Vitamin World, Jamboree. And you know what? All those employees, they can't go to McDonald's and Subway to work because they're closing stores too. Yes, McDonald's and Subways are going to close stores. So fast food isn't the answer. Now, here's, here's something that we need to think about. AI aside, you know, artificial intelligence, they're already starting to crash cars with dri self-driving cars and trucks. But Kroger, and Kroger, who owns Fred Meyers, and that's Washington State and Oregon. John probably goes down there and buys his uh, mineral water down at Fred Meyers. They're going to bring the shopping cart to uh, checkout lines, and that's expanding self-checkout registers to hundreds of stores. So while they've got two or three cashiers checking out on check stand number 13 and 17, they're going to have a bank of six to eight registers that they're forcing you to go check your own groceries out uh, and uh, get through the line so you don't have to go wait in that line at check stand uh, 15 and 17. Wow, that's great. So they're basing, uh, basically making us do the labor for them, eliminating their cashier staff and saving a lot of money to add to the bottom line. Well, that's great for them, but it doesn't do any good for all those cashiers that are put out of work that won't have money to support their families or pay their rent. Again, this is unsustainable. And what's even better is they're going to make you use or allow you to use your smartphone so you can scan the items after you put, pull them off the shelf and throw them in your basket. And then it's an app that you can just push on through and it's going to charge you. You bag your groceries and you're out the door. Isn't that convenient? Oh, yes. How nice. Well, there's no secret as to why chains like Kroger is expanding self-checkout. 
uh, tech, uh, and content test limited fashion for years. Uh, it, they want to cut their costs. They want, and unfortunately, that's going to cut the jobs. I, I understand why you want to cut costs, but don't do it on the backs of the very people who are your customers. I think Henry Ford back in the day uh, wanted to pay a, a decent wage so his own employees could buy a car. But wait, there's more. I love this Sham Wow guy. He reminds me of somebody that uh, Rhonda just showed earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, there's more. Down in Oregon, they just uh, struck the law banning uh, self-service uh, gas stations. It's a limited amount right now, maybe counties and things like that. But I promise you, John, you're going to be pumping your own gas down there pretty soon. And all it's, though it's going to be convenient, that poor little gas station guy isn't going to be able to go buy his Starbucks coffee or his Krispy Kreme donut, not to mention get groceries or pay his rent. So, you know, that's just the way I'm looking at it. I, uh, I got to say, uh, it's, it's frightening, but we've been told this for years that, oh, they always say this. Well, now it's a reality. With artificial intelligence coming down the pike, with all this new technology, uh, we're, we're in trouble. So basically, the rich are going to get richer. The jobs are going to go down the toilet. And I just want to say, oh, happy day. And uh, I would like to thank everybody for coming out to uh, Land of Oz again. And keep an eye on my hair if I don't have it next week. So sorry, the news was going to be pretty rough. Uh, Land of Oz is whole, supports whole Washington, health care for all, because health care is a human right. Thank you, John and Uphill Media, for my segment, and I'm going to shut up now. Oh, you don't get away that easy, buddy. <laughs> I'm going to some questions. Oh, skip oh. away from me. Everybody wants to know, man, where'd you get the hair? <laughs> I, I, I agree.